Now we're going to talk about non-diatonic chords in the key of C major. We're going to steal these from other keys, but for now we're not even going to think about where they're from. We're just going to steal them. So a great way to add chords to your chord palette is just go through the, all the chords in the major key and take the minor chords and make them major. Let's just start there. So instead of going from C to D minor, we can go from C to D major. Wow, what a great chord. CeeLo Green uses that in Forget You, and we can use that too. The Beatles use it. It's a, a two major chord, so you could use it in a ballad. I remember love. It was awesome, right? I remember love. We were in a convertible jag, you know, driving the coast of Italy. That just feels like such a bright, positive chord. It's sort of Here Comes the Sun by the Beatles, right? You could do a ballad or you could do a rhythm. I'm in love. That would be a great Randy Newman chord, right? It just feels so happy and great. Another chord that we can utilize is the three minor. We can make that a three major, and now we have a really cool chord. So let's check it out. I'm gonna go from C to E minor the dark, whiny, I remember love chord. I remember love. <laughs> they didn't love me back. Or maybe, uh, let's see what happens with it when we change it to three major. I remember love. <laughs> it was amazing, that's what love was, right? That three major just changes the whole thing. It's a great chord, so try that chord out. You can, you can steal it and keep it. So just add it to your collection. So now we have D major and we have E major as songwriters. So you also could take the A minor. I remember love. <laughs> All right, or let's see what happens when it's a major chord. I remember love. So you might wanna rock that out a little bit. That comes from a classic uh, Motown song. You could use that in rock, you could use that uh, in jazz if you wanted to add some tensions to that, you know. It feels kind of nice. Frank Sinatra used that a lot. Now, let's take the major chords and make them minor, and we're gonna add so much more to our songwriting. If we're dealing with uh, a major key, though, some major key songs can break your heart even more than minor, because a minor key sort of just brings minor. And a major key can be like, well, here's major, and here's minor, and here's major. And it really takes you on this journey. So let's just go back to that neutral phrase, I remember love. We don't know what it means until I take the four major chord and make that a four minor chord. Check out the difference. We're going to go to four major. I remember love. Now I'm going to go to the four minor chord. I remember love. That is just a devastating move right there. So you can do that. You, John Mayer does that. He'll go from one to the straight to the four minor chord. It's a beautiful move. It's even more nuanced than the A minor or the D minor, right? That F minor just brings so much more heartache to it. And again, hopefully you're starting to memorize how these feel, not just how they sound, but what mood they're bringing to you in your songs. So one more chord I want to change and add to your collection of chords Instead of the G major chord, let's make that a G minor chord and see what happens. First, I'm gonna go from C to G major, then I'm gonna go from C to G minor, and we're gonna use that same neutral phrase, I remember love, and let's see what it makes love feel like. I remember love. Doesn't that just feel like, it was the greatest thing, it was the greatest thing. Now, let's make that G a G minor. I remember to change my melody. I remember love. It's like, wow, what a great chord. I don't know if you're using the G minor, but it's a great one. And to me, I look at that chord as, you know, very nostalgic. Like it was a, again, maybe it was a summer romance and, you know, you knew you'd never be able to be together, but God, it was great. I remember it and I'm, I'm glad it happened. I'll never forget it, right? No, 
know I'll never forget it. And it just feels like this heartbreaking Bruno Mars song starting to happen. Feel that, right? Really start going from knowing what chords are available intellectually to really just hand selecting these chords because you don't want to miss a really great chord that could be just bringing so much to your songs.